Hello guys, my name is Khan and actually in today's video I will show you guys that how you can uh, reshape a data in R. So what does it mean by reshaping? So before going towards R I have created a very simplistic example for you guys that how you can what does it mean by reshaping. Uh, so if you look at this data set, so I have created one table for you guys in which I have this ID variable. So, so suppose we have a data in which we have uh, we have asked about the income of three individuals and, and also about their gender. So zero means male, one means female. And I also want to capture their income Income 80 means that what was their income in 1980, what was their income in 1981 and then 1982. But, uh, but now I have data in this format, which is, is, if the data is in this kind of format, we usually call it is in the wide form. But sometimes we, when we are doing analysis, uh, we need the data in a long format. Uh, the long format is like this that I want my year variable here and all the income information is uh, is gathered in just one variable actually both the data set the this wide data set and uh, this long data set actually capturing exactly the same information but in a different format so why we need sometimes uh, data in different uh, formats because sometimes the commands that we are using are made for long data format or the wide data format or maybe it's easier to analyze sometimes in a long format than in a wide format so if you guys not hear that a in long format we have a separate variable for year and then we are capturing year for each individual and then i am uh, uh, and uh, entering the information uh, income uh, on for this year i have given 19 a 5000 then for 81 i am telling 4000 and for 82 1982 i am telling that uh, income was 3000 and same i was doing for the other two individual so you, the one thing is that you can do it manually but uh, doing it manually is very cumbersome uh, and i am giving you a very uh, a short example in reality or in practical life you will be facing very huge data set and doing it manually will not be a will not be an easy job so in r you can do it through a reshape command so i will now i will take you uh, to r and then i will show you guys that how you can do it in r so i have already created one r code file so if i go back this data set which is the wide data set i'm calling it data one and i've already saved this table only in a, a csv file which is called as data one underscore wide and i have created a do file for you guys that i will open and then i will take you guys step by step how you can do reshaping so actually I like to maximize this window so i will go i will take you guys step by step so as usual when i uh, whenever i start with my r code i set the working directory that where my data is located and after that i'm uh, importing a csv data set into r by using this <coughs> r.csv file as I have just shown you guys that I have data one underscore y.csv file in, in that folder, in that reshape folder. And I'm calling that of the data set as a data one wide check in R. So if I execute this code, control shift home and then control enter, I go back, you can see I have data set here. If I browse it, by just clicking it you can see the data is exactly the data i have shown you guys in this excel so the next question is that i want to now reshape this data set uh, into a wide format 
So before going to uh, moving uh, before moving to make this data set into a white format, I need to check that this ID variable is unique or not. So as this data set is very small, so you can clearly see that okay, each observation have a unique ID. But once we have a very huge data set, then we need to use a function in R which can which can make your life easier. So I will go. So the function you have to use is this duplicated. So I'm saying that the first this function I'm using and then I'm going to say within that function that we have first I, then after that I will specify within that function the data frame on which I want to check the duplicates and then I am specifying these brackets within these where the first comma means that before comma you can also uh, define the number of observations but I want all the observation of this data set to be included so that's why I'm not specifying anything and after that here I am specifying the variable name on which I want based on which I want to check the duplicates so now if I execute this thing and enter you can see that uh, R have created a vector and saying false 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 actually false means that the value uh, is zero false means that there is no duplicate this observation is unique this observation is unique and this observation is unique so that's why i mean it's false if there is if uh, if the if it's true it means that there are duplicates in our uh, in our uh, in our id variable so maybe if, if expose if there is any observation which is true here it means that it's appearing twice so but false is actually by default is zero as I show as I, as I told you guys that our data set is very small so that's why you can just easily see that false 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 but suppose if we have a very huge data set then we can't suppose if we have 10,000 uh, observations then R will show us uh, false 10,000 times and it will be very hard that where the if to check that where the true is appearing in that vector so in order to get rid of that thing you can just simply come here you can say sum so if the data is unique the above command which we are using just copy it and paste it because this actually this command is returning us a vector so here i am saying to sum up the above vector So, so by summing it up, so if the sum should be zero if the ID variable is unique, otherwise we have we can't do reshaping. So as you can see that the sum is zero, so it means everything is fine. We can go ahead for uh, reshaping the data. So currently our data set is in the wide format. And I want to convert it into a long format. So, so in order to do that, so I will be using this function reshape function. So this is my actually wide data set, which is currently we have uh, in my environment. And then I am specifying the varying. So when you are converting from wide to long, uh, you have to use this uh, option varying is equal to then you will specify your variable names in a vector form uh, which you want to convert into a long format so as you can see that I want to convert these variables into long format so I am specifying all these three variables and after that I am telling that the direction of this reshape is long it can be wide too but in the current situation we have already data in a wide format and i want to convert that wide data into a long format so after that time war there is an option you have to specify time war so the time war means that 
uh, because this data, uh, sorry, R will be creating a new variable to capture this information 80, 81, 82. So this variables, this part of mm, uh, information is actually year. So that's why I'm calling it as an year. So I will go back to this Excel. So once we will be converting here, actually time war options it means that you have to give the variable name for this variable this this variable so this variable is actually coming from here here from 80 81 so if i go back so i am specifying that this very information is actually the year information so i am calling it as an year variable so when i will say this is a bit important thing that when you are going from wide to long you have to specify one new variable in uh, so you, in your commands this variable new variable get uh, get created in your uh, new data set the long data set after that i am specifying the id variable in this data set the id variable is also named as id and then i'm saying what is the separator so what's the separator means so if i go back to my data set in r so i separator means that year information will appearing after this c so that's why i'm saying that c is the separator and so after the c the information will be captured in this year variable so now if I execute my code control enter so fortunately I didn't get any error and if you see here R have created a data one long so which so if I come you can see that I am giving this all operation assigning this all operation to a new data set to new data object which is data one long and now if I click it, you can see the data is got converted into a long format. So one to eight ID one, then gender, then year 80, then 81, then 82. So and in, in this information, I mean income information is coming in this column. But you can see that because of the separator option, my income variable is not uh, correctly name and it's a bit confusing so how can i rename this variable so and it's very easy to rename in r so uh, so i can do renaming but before going to specifying to how you can uh, how you can create uh, how you can rename the variable in r so i will just mention you guys that year here when you are going to uh, into a from y to long you will be creating a new variable in this data set that variable is actually calculating the year information and and again an important thing is that when you're going from y to long you will be using this varying option uh, and in the end, I will also show you guys that you can also come here in the help tab and then you can also uh, write down reshape. So this is the reshape command that I am using. And if I maximize it for you guys, uh, there is a good uh, uh, description about this reshape command and within that help window they also have given some examples in the end so if you guys are using this thing and you are if you got any error you can use this help window and now i will go back and i will now i'll show you guys that how you can rename so if i want to rename this variable a bit properly so that it will be easier to read so so in order to uh, rename uh, because I will be using this rename function, I need to have this uh, package. As I always tell, the package in uh, R means that uh, this function actually belongs to this package. And in order to use this rename function, I have to use this library first. And 
uh, and then I will be recalling this premium function. Otherwise, R will not recognize what this function is. So I am saying, so I'm again uh, saying that rename, and then after that, I'm specifying in which uh, data set I want to rename the variable. I want to rename uh, the variable in data one long, and then I'm making a vector which is saying C, and then I'm saying that in is equal to income underscore. So I'm saying that rename this in variable which is in this data long as income. So which is very easy. And if I do that, you can see that oh, I have automatically updated the data set. And now I have income underscore. So this is very easy to rename in uh, in R. And after that, I will show you because currently I have just shown you that how you can go from uh, wide to long. But what's about if you have to go long to wide? That uh, what is mean by long to wide? That you start with your data set, this data set, long format data set, and then if you have to go from here to here in this kind of format then what you can do so again we will be using the same reshape command but now a bit differently and with a bit different options so so once you will be going from long to wide you have to check one thing that uh, that your id variable and your year variables again with your id variable and your year variable that you will be using in reshaping should be unique the combination of both of these variables id and year so should be unique and in order to check that i will be using this command that duplicate the same command that i have used before duplicate it then i am telling in which data set you want to i want to check the duplicates which is the data one long and after that i am using these two brackets just after the naming of that data set there is nothing written before this comma which means that i want to check duplicates on all the observation uh, so suppose if i specify c1 comma 2 it means that R will only check the duplicates for the first two observations, but I don't want to do that. I want to check. So I think it's better for you guys to show if I write down one comma two. If I run, I will be getting only a vector of size two. But as you can see that I have, this R is giving me the vector of R two. It means that R is only looking for duplicates in these two rows but i want to r to look duplicates in all these nine rows so so therefore in order to say that you just don't have to specify anything and r will automatically realize that uh, i'm looking for to check duplicates in all the observations within this data frame and after comma i will specify the columns so in order to specify the column i will be creating a vector in which i will be telling the variable names which are appearing in this data set which is id and income underscore uh, sorry id and year so i have to check my duplicates in id and year variable and so if i check it now as you can see that R have created a vector of length 9 and I have given me false for all the observation. It means that data is unique at ID and year level. Uh, but as I told you guys before that when you guys will be dealing with bigger data, you will not be able to figure out that just based looking but just by looking at this false vector you need to make it more systemized so i am using the same this function 
but now I am using this function uh, within the sum option because false mean in R zero, true means one value. So, so I will call it this function uh, within sum function, and if it's zero, it means that everything is fine. My data is unique at ID and year level. As you can see that it's zero, this means that everything is fine for me. I can go for reshaping and I can reshape from long to wide. So now I will be going from long to wide. So, so first I will show you guys on the right hand side of this thing. So I'm saying reach, I'm using reshape function. Then I'm saying that the data set which I want to reshape the data set is actually in, currently in the long shape and then i will be using this v dot names command v dot names is the function not it's not a command it's a function within the reshape uh, uh, that v dot names means that which variable you want to make it long actually i want to make long sorry the variable i want to make wide is income as if i go back it's actually I want to make my income variable wide and the time word is year year means that uh, that which year will be assigned after this underscore once it will be because uh, if I if I if you guys remember that here the year is 80 and once a time when I'm saying that time word is equal to year so this year information will come here now so again it's here my id variable is id which is uh, which is the same before and direction is wide the data set is currently in long form that i want to make it wide and separator here i'm specifying no separator but i can show you i will do it so a separator can be anything here when you are going from uh, long to wide you can specify separator whatever according to your name so if i execute it go back to r you can see that i have this data set now which can easily be seen that it got converted into wide format but i will show you guys one thing that when we are going uh, from uh, long to wide your separator can be anything so i can say ddd and it will just uh, make your variable names representation a bit differently so you can see r have added ddd in the variable names so but i don't want any separator value so that's why i don't need this ddd i just will show you guys that what this separation is doing when we are going from long to wide. So I can show you because I want I think this format of variable names are better. So again, a important thing to note here is that when we were going uh, wide is uh, wide to long, this year variable I created is a was a new variable. But when I am going from long to wide, this year variable is already existing in the data set. Uh, and in especially when you're going from long to wide, your data set must be unique at this variable. And it could be anything. It currently I am saying it's year. Um, in this data set is year uh, and ID. So the data set when you're going from long to wide should be unique at year and id level so now uh, i will give you guys an other example uh, so i have another data set uh, data 2 which is also in the wide form so i will go enter so now i am using uh, i will show you guys uh, that i am using this data set this data set is Actually, household level. There are three households. They are located in California, Seattle, New York, and then I have uh, info some information about the members A, B, and C. But suppose if I want to make it in long format, an important thing is here is that now my 
this information actually this is some hypothetic categories a b and c uh, so if i go here i will be using the same reshape command my data is currently in wide my varying uh, option is uh, is varying option means that you have to specify all those variables that you want to convert into uh, into long format then my i'm specifying the direction is long that i want to reshape the data set this data set into long format and then i'm saying that time war the new variable that will be capturing this a b and c information as category variable this variable will new variable that r will create and then i'm saying that my id variable is hh household and then the separator uh, is underscore that after the underscore the information will be stored in this category variable so the a b and c information will be stored in this category variable so if i run this and i'm saying that all this reshaping will be assigned to a new data set which will be called as data to long Let's say enter Let's say this is my data to long will say you can see that r have quickly converted into a long format and my category variable is having a b and c information for each for one house one two three then one two three and again one two three so in the end so before going towards back so now in the end i am going to reshape this long data back to wide but before going that doing that i have to check for duplicates again so i will be using a similar command like this again but i am not going to do that because it's the same thing but for so suppose if i do i will just quickly do it for you guys uh, i will check for the duplicate that my data set is unique at category and household level this time before making this long data back to long or back to wide so i will just simply say my data set is two i want to select all the uh, observation my data should be unique at household and category variable for this data set if i enter it i must have got all the false of uh, that my of my vector is containing all the false which means that false means zero and if i say sum if i call the same function again put it here it should be zero if it's zero it means that i'm ready to make this long data set back to wide and for wide i will so saying reshape i'm saying data to long which is this data set and then i'm saying that uh, the variable that i want to make it wide is members and then i'm saying the time war which will uh, information which will be added uh, to this member level is category and then i'm specifying that uh, uh, the id variable is hh and the direction is from is wide because the data set is here long and i want to convert into wide and the separator is underscore so underscore will add like members member underscore a member underscore b member underscore c so if i execute this so you can see this is my data set is data 2 underscore y so if i go to data 2 y2 you can see that uh, r have nicely make my data set back to wide so so this is a very a brief overview about uh, how you can reshape data so reshaping is one of the form you can manipulate data and again if you want if you have any questions or you have, want to know more about reshape then you can just simply go to help tab you can write down the reshape which is the function name you can go and if i maximize it you can come to this window you can go over there are different options that you can specify within the 
within this reshape function and there are also some good examples given within 